Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy podcast, episode number 126. Welcome. Okay, so I have quite a few uh, small finished objects that I did this uh, finishing up Vlogtober, so I will show you those, and those are the only finished objects I have for this week, uh, but then I do have some whips that I worked on, so let's get started. Okay, so for the finished objects, I have seven, <laughs> but they are very small. They're the little mini, or the little tutorials that I was following uh, Laura of Happy Berry Crochet here on YouTube. So the first one is the star flower, okay? That is like an ornament, could be used for an, as an ornament, as a package trim. Uh, it was a very quick pattern. It used very small amount of yarn. And so um, I enjoyed putting it together. Very fun little project, okay? The next one I did, I turned this into a Christmas ornament, is the little penguin. <laughs> and I enjoyed, this one was another fun project that I did, uh, that I made following her tutorial. Uh, it was very fun. The wings and the little flippers was all, and the beak, were, was all included in the uh, pattern. I mean, you don't have to do them separately. They're stitched or they're worked into the pattern as you're creating it. So it's very awesome, I think, the way that she did the pattern. The only thing that's separate, the only, or the only thing you had to sew on is the eyes. And then, the, of course, the scarf is separate and optional. Uh, but everything else is completely worked into the pattern as you're creating it. So that's great. I really enjoyed that tutorial. Okay, my next one is a little starfish. <laughs> and I am going to, I think I'm going to put a magnet on the back of it. And, or in, yeah, and turning into a, like a refrigerator magnet or something. I thought it was really cute. But of course you could put a hanger, it is double, it is double thickness, um, so that way the, um, the rays of the starfish will not, uh, curl up, and so, um, that worked out really well, I think. And so, like I said, I may put a magnet on it to become a, a little refrigerator magnet, or I might put a string on it, to, like a hanger on it, and use it for something else. I don't know. It's really cute, though. I enjoyed making it. Okay, next one is a tiny little sheep. <laughs> I really enjoyed this one too. This one also was a fun pattern. Now the, the four feet down here were separate that you had to sew on, but it wasn't that hard to do. Um, the ears are part of the pattern, which is awesome. And so, like I said, everything else is one whole piece except for the legs. And then, you, like I said, you do those and stitch them on, but um, it, was really, it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard. <laughs> So that's the next one. Okay, so the next one, the, the next finished object I have pinned on this piece of foam so that way you can see it really well. And it is, is a butterfly. And I really enjoyed this one too. Uh, there was nothing to sew on. Um, I don't think. No, everything was created. All you had to do is weave in the ends at the end. And so that was, that's awesome. <laughs> so. I think I was thinking that you could use this as an applique um, to put on a hat or a bag or you know a notions pouch uh, anywhere where you need a tiny little trim of some you know on something. Okay, so the next two finished objects I have were a little bit bigger. <laughs> this one is the cube cat. <laughs> uh, like I said, it whoop, dropped it. <laughs> um, the the legs and the uh, tail was separate that you had to sew in but um, it wasn't hard to do oh and the, the ears too but it was a, like I said it was a fun project to do so there you go <laughs> very cute and the last one that I did is a little long-eared bunny <laughs> and I think this one the, she turned out really cute as well so, I may go back and add a little pom-pom tail to it, uh, but besides that, I think it's perfect. <laughs> okay, so on to my works in progress. I am still working on the notebook paper blanket, but I did get another... Oop, there goes my hook. 
Uh, I did get another um, section done. I finished this blue stripe and I got another section of white done on the blanket. Okay. And um, I am ready to add the blue back on there to do another stripe. So it's coming along. <laughs> coming along. Okay, and this is a pattern by a crafty concept here on, you, no, not YouTube, but online, <laughs> on the internet. And so I will link pat, the description, or I will link uh, Laura's Happy Berry Crochet channel down below. And then I'll also link to these patterns of my works in progress that I'm working on. Okay, so my next works in progress is the crochet along that I was participating with over on the Facebook group called uh, from Crochet Creations by Christy. And um, let's see, I am on my third cake of yarn. The mystery uh, crochet along is over because the last section was you could either turn this into a cocoon by stitching it together yeah, cocoon or shrug. Cocoon, I guess. I don't know. Shrug. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> or you could leave it as a blanket and just continue on until you run out of yarn. And so that's what I'm doing. So I'm just continuing on with my pattern. And here, I'll kind of try to hold it up. It's getting kind of big. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I will take a picture of it laid out uh, as far as my progress so far. So then that way you can see it much better. I will insert that picture here. So there it is. Um, I'm, it's getting bigger. I've got one more cake of yarn and then of course this amount of the third cake. Uh, what I had to do was um, kind of color control a little bit because I had two cakes that were started with the same color uh, on, in the center. And then I have two cakes that it's the same colorway, but it's starting with different colors in the center. And so I had to pull out this section right here out of the middle and then start with the cake. And then uh, when I got finished with the remainder of that cake, then I joined it back in because then it was at this color and so it worked out perfect. And so now I'm going to work from the center of what the remaining of this is. And then I will be ready to add my third cake to that blanket. So anyway, uh, I'm enjoying it. I think it's it's a really nice colorway. It, the colorway is uh, from a Hobby Lobby sugar, a yarn bee sugar wheel <laughs> in the colorway green tree swirl, I think. Yeah. I think, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, green, green tea swirl, not tree. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm really liking the way it's turned out. I think it'd be a really great colorway for a gift for a man, you know, or um, a, a, somebody that has that co those colors in their living room or whatever. So anyway, I think it's nice. I've enjoyed uh, participating in that crochet along. Okay, so the next works in progress I have is squares. Now these are squares. I don't have that many because I just I, I just. Um, work on it like at the end of the day I just want to work on something little and not something big and so I'm, I'm be making these these squares okay so what the squares are for they are going to be for Melissa at crocheting crocheting in agreement that's the name of her YouTube channel and I will put that in the description box below but anyway she's having a uh, granny square drive well not it didn't have to be granny square but squares okay and I am making my square six inch wide a six inch by six inch squares and uh, what they are for is she's going to be putting the squares together and donating them to the charity that she takes she takes part in which are going to be for prayer blankets that will be given out to people in her community that are in need or uh, either you know they're sick or they're in some sort of need and um, so they've been they she going to be donating them <laughs> okay can't talk today I'm sorry <laughs> ah, anyway I have done I'll show you one the ones I've done <laughs> so here's one and here's number two and then here is number three that one's interesting <laughs> and then here is I think I showed this one last week 
so far that's all the ones I have um, all I do is I have these containers of yarn uh, just leftover yarn balls I've got this one I've got this one <laughs> and I just kind of sit there and then put colors together and I, I make sure they end up ugh, let me put that down <laughs> Uh, th that they end up six inches. I, I'm trying to get them where they will end up the same size. And so I will be uh, getting a stack of these done and get him, getting them in a box or mailer or something and sending them off to Melissa once I get a good collection of them. So if you want to take part in that um, um, charity or, you know, that yeah, that charity drive or square drive or whatever. Uh, I will put a link in the description box of that video where she talks about it, okay? Okay, and my last works in progress is another crochet along. Well, let me just call it a make along. <laughs> okay, so Llama Mama Kayla is doing a loom along, okay? And this is going to be a very long, um, a long lasting. I guess you'd say, uh, project, okay? I believe it's going to be 40 weeks long. So each week she releases one line of this mystery graphgan blanket that she's going to be doing. Well, she's doing it, and, and a lot of the people that are doing it is actually doing it on the uh, knit loom, knitting loom where she's making these tiny little circles, well not tiny, well they're pretty tiny, <laughs> and sewing them together, different colors and different combination, and when you get when you get finished, it will be a picture, um, but right now we don't know what the picture is, so that's why it's a mystery. Well, I decided to, I wanted to take part in it, but um, I decided that for mine, because she was saying what the finished size was going to be, and it's going to be very big blanket, like 60 inches by something or other. Well, it'd be a square, I guess, because it's it's 40 across and 40 rows, you know. <laughs> anyway, so I decided to do mine because I wanted to take part in it, and so I asked permission from Kayla if I could do it, but do a different medium, or I mean, well, not medium. A different stitch <laughs> and she said sure then she was excited she said she went can't wait to see what mine's gonna turn out to look like well I have done four rows so far now if you want to jump in and take part in this feel free because like I said it's going to last for 40 weeks and she only gives you one row per week and so it'll be real easy to catch up okay so I will show you my progress I'm looking for my end here because I don't want to um, Let's see if I, how I can show this. Let's see. Let's do it this way. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing is like a graph gan. And so, of course, with the graph gan, you know you have the bobbins or the balls of yarn. I'm using these bobbins, bobbin hold, well, what I'm using for bobbin holders uh, to hold all the colors of my yarn. So, I, of course, I have string, C attached to it where I am changing colors. So, I am doing the blocks, block stitch uh, because since you're only getting one line per week uh, it's I decided not to do it corner to corner because once you, you got finished with it, the 40 weeks you'd only be like halfway through the project and then you have to decrease for the other side I think I don't know but I do know that there is um, oh my goodness who is it Tasha. Tasha's Yarny Creations. I think that's her name. Hmm, I think. <laughs> anyway, she's doing it corner to corner and hers is going to look awesome. I decided to do mine following Graph Gam, but I'm doing it horizontally with the block stitch. Okay, long explanation. <laughs> anyway, here's mine so far. Okay, and then Lom, uh, Llama Mama Kayla was asking me what the width of mine is coming out to be and my I measured mine and mine is only 33 and a half inches so roughly it's going to be half the size of what the, she is making with the loomed uh, circles uh, which is fine so I had told her that what I had planned on doing I think is using this once I finish it I'm going to use it as a center panel and then add like either well I have a couple of ideas how I'm going to enlarge it so uh, I'll wait 
and see how, what the picture is going to turn out to be or I'm excited to find that out. But as I'm doing it, I'm going to think about how I'm going to enlarge it just a little bit more. Uh, I have a few ideas, so um, we'll see. But that will be like the center panel of the project. So I'm excited about that. Now, like I said, it is only growing one row per week. And so that might be a little bit tedious to show it to you. Not, well, not to me. I mean, I always show you one row at a time or, you know, each row, row by row. But I was thinking maybe I'll just show you that uh, maybe every month or something. So that way, you know, every four rows. So that way you can see it as it's growing. And, and because otherwise, if it's just one row different, you know, it, it uh, you know. I don't know. <laughs> so that's what I think I'll do is I'm going to keep working on it. Every Sunday she releases another row on the project. So I'm going to keep keep working on it each week. And then uh, maybe monthly I'll show you my progress on it. So anyway, I'm excited. I'm, I'm anxious to see what the picture is going to be. So I think it's cool. I'm having a good time. Thank you, Kayla, for hostessing. Hostessing it. <laughs> Okay, so that is all my works in progress and finished objects that I have done. Upcoming is the Jada and Stitches, the calendar blanket. She has released the next applique, which is actually two different appliques to put on the blanket, the folk art blanket. And so she is going to, I mean, I, I have not done them yet, so that's upcoming for me. Okay, so another thing is upcoming is the deer blanket. I said last week I was going to pull it out and work on it. Well, I didn't. So um, I was just get, finishing up Vlogtober and doing all the little mini projects for that. And so now that is done, uh, I'm going to get back to looking at what my whips are that I was working on that I had kind of had to take a break for a little bit uh, to do Vlogtober. And so uh, I'm going to be pulling some of those back out and, and continuing on with them. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so that's all I have for today, guys. Um, uh, I Like I said, I just finished up Vlogtober today. I enjoyed it so much. I thank everybody that watched all of them or even watched some of them. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. Um, so, uh, like I said, uh, I'm, well, I don't know if I said no. I just did another video. I think I said it over there. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm going to be doing... Um, a project in December that will be my vlogmas so uh, stay tuned for that because I think it'll be fun um, I hope you'll come along with me and and um, watch those videos as well <laughs> okay guys um, I'm trying to think if there's something else I was gonna say but I don't think there is I'll probably remember it as soon as I shut the video off. If I do, I'll make a note of it and I will say it in the next video. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys so much for all those that have been subscri subscribing to my videos. And if you have not subscribed, please do. I make weekly videos showing my progress on things uh, that I'm working on. I work do a variety of different projects, or I try to. Um, and then I do throw in some extra videos here and there. Um, so... Uh, Please come along and, and follow me, like I said, um, and watch what I create or make or whatever. Uh, I love sharing my love for yarn with everybody. Um, so, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go. So, everybody have a wonderful weekend. If you're in the States, today is October the 31st. So, if you are in the States then you do know that this weekend is, uh, this is the end of daylight savings time. And so don't forget to turn your clocks back. <laughs> One hour. Okay. So we'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.